Hey everybody, it's Monica King, and I've got some really cool project that I'm finally locating everything. Um, starting to slow down a little bit for bee removals, and so now I get to focus on like getting organized, cleaned up. I keep saying this. I don't know if I'll ever be there, but I just ran across a project, and now I saw a squirrel. <laughs> so my saw a squirrel means I'm getting sidetracked, and <laughs> it's something that happens to me frequently. But what I have here are big, gigantic styrofoam. Um, they're for shipping food. Like a friend of mine, she gets special meals in that she's like on a diet, and I don't, I don't remember what company, but she gets these giant styrofoam coolers, giant. So they have these like dry ice, you know, shipments. And so basically, it's pretty awesome. It's a fairly, you know, decent size, not large. You know, but what's my plan on doing with it? I'm gonna be doing a really unique beehive. So I found um, my brother Ted, I'm like, going, my brother Ted and I were talking about uh, Sam Comfort comfort style hives and we were talking about Tuckabee and you know these people are just really great um, doing maintenance on the hives in order to use things like um, Chinese the chopsticks as the bar and I mean like they're able to make this work and I think Tuck is in South Florida and I mean like so I'm going oh this isn't going to work in Arizona because of our heat and you know, Florida gets hot, right? So, you know, and yeah, it would have been cheaper just to save chopsticks from going out to eat, but not for me because we don't go out to eat. So it's not like I get chopsticks. So I, these were a couple bucks. And then, so bamboo skewers is another way that they use just, you know, Google Sam Comfort, Comfort Style Hive, Tucka. Um, and you'll see some really, really cool colonies but what my plans are is I found that you could order these gigantic barbecue um, kebabs bamboo kebabs they're monstrous and now I can make them fit these really huge styrofoam containers so do you see where I'm going with this I'm going to be drilling a little hole likely on the long side here and I'm going to be um, making an entrance for the bees. I'm gonna be using these skewers. And what I'm gonna do is on my next bee removals, when I have dark comb already, I'm going to skewer as, um, this is what I'm hoping. It might not work, but it's an experiment and maybe, you know, maybe it will, maybe it won't. And this is definitely too small for a colony. It's gonna require a lot more maintenance than let's say a Langstroth. A um, lot more maintenance than uh, lay-ins or even a topper hive. This is going to be even more hands-on beekeeping. Um, but what my plans are is to skewer a darker comb so that it's not um, as delicate when you lift it up. Because, I mean, anything that they add to it is going to cause, you know, it's going to be pretty delicate. So I'm going to set this in the insets. I'm going to have to cut it so that it fits inside, as you can see. And as long as the comb is removable for inspection, it is still legal. So remember in the United States, it is illegal to use any colony style or any hive style that doesn't have removable, inspectable frames. So just remember that. Um, and so there is quite a gap in the top of my uh, cooler here. Um, what I plan on doing is like putting a piece of uh, window screen or maybe a um, piece of uh, shade cloth or something down uh, over top so that I can pull that off and pull the combs out to take a peek at them. But anyway, this is a project that I've got going on and uh, if you want to follow it, don't forget to like and subscribe to see how this goes. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be kind of unique and maybe a little fun. 
Uh, so we're going into just to let you know, this is not springtime. Um, this is late summer. We're uh, having a few of our monsoons. Not real great from my area, uh, but I've got some flowers. They can, you know, get established. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about just putting it into play right now because springtime is just way too busy for me. So now's the time where I can play with a little bit of different hype styles and uh, create more content. So thanks for watching. Bye.